Welcome to Midweek Advent. Week one, the theme, word, is pause. Blessed be God, the eternal one in three, who was, who is, and is to come. Blessed be God forever and ever. During a season of busyness and in a culture that demands immediate response, we pause and wait for your appearing. In the midst of anxiety, chaos, and fear, we pause and trust that your hand is leading us. Uncertain about the future and weighed down with worries in the present, we pause and know your presence fully. Come, O Christ, and set us free. Come, Emmanuel, bring in your reign of justice and peace. We wait for a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness is at home. Let us pray. O oh God, eternal and unchanging, you are the source and center of all life. Help us to cease our constant hurry and hustle, worry and anxiety, that we may rest in you. Teach us patience and endurance as we wait for the appearing of Jesus Christ, our Emmanuel. Amen. Come now, O Prince of Peace, make us one body. Come, O Lord Jesus, reconcile your people. Come now, O God of love, make us one body. Come, O Lord Jesus, reconcile your people. Come now and set us free, O God our Savior. Come, O Lord Jesus, reconcile all nations. Come, hope of unity, make us one body. Come, O Lord Jesus, reconcile all nations. I am telling you not to be troubled about getting enough to eat or drink or what to wear. Is eating, drinking, and clothing yourself all there is? Does your life not have more meaning than this? Look to the winged ones who soar on the wind. Do they plant seeds and gather the harvest into a storehouse? No, but your Father from above gives them plenty to eat. Do you not know he cares even more for you? Can worry add even one more step to the length of your life's journey? Why do you trouble yourself with what to wear? Have you seen how the wildflowers grow in the plains and meadows? Do you think they work hard and long to clothe themselves? No, I tell you not even the great chieftain stands in peace wearing his finest regalia, was dressed as well as even one of these. If Creator covers the wild grass in the plains with such beauty, which is here today and gathered up for tomorrow's fire, will he not take even better care of you? Why is your face so small? There's no need to say, what will we eat, what will we drink, what will we wear? This is about the nations who have lost their way have given their hearts to. But your Father from above knows you need these things. If you will make Creator's good road your first aim, representing His right ways, He will make sure you have all you need for each day. So do not worry about tomorrow's troubles. It is enough to trust Creator to give you the strength you need to face today. The Gospel of the Lord. To 
thoughts. Advent falls during a time that can be overwhelming and stressful. It may be useful for us to name some of the stressors of life, but maybe that's not helpful. We worry and we are concerned and we busy ourselves with what we think God's call is for us in the world. But do we ever pause? Do we pause to discern where God is calling us, when God is calling us to rest, to step away, to take a mental health day, to pause, to refocus on things that are truly important. Second Peter says, in his spirit, creator sets us free, knew right away that we, what we were thinking and said to them, why are your hearts full of these thoughts? Is it easier to tell a paralyzed man, get up and walk, or to say to him, you are released from your wrongdoing? This is how you will know the true human being has the right to forgive bad hearts and broken ways on this earth. He turned to the paralyzed man and said, Get up, roll up your sleeping bundle and walk home. Right away the man stood up, and in front of them he rolled up his sleeping bundle and he walked out. Great amazement filled the hearts of all who were in the house as they gave praise to the Creator. Who has ever seen this kind of mysterious and powerful medicine? They asked. After this, Creator Sets Free went once again to walk by the lake shore. A large crowd followed him there, so he was teaching them. As he walked the shore, he saw a tribal tax collector named He Brings Together, the son of the first to change, sitting at his tax booth. Come. Creator sets free, says to him, and walk the road with me. He brings together, got up from his tax booth, left that life behind him, and became a follower of Creator sets free. Creator sets free, went to a feast at the home of He brings it together, and sat down to eat with the guests. There were many other tribal tax collectors and other outcasts also sitting with Creator Sets Free and his close followers, for many outcasts had become his followers. All came and followed Jesus to a table to sit and pause. We are waiting for Jesus, Jesus brings peace. We are waiting for Jesus, Jesus brings peace. Son of justice, shine upon us. We are trying. Oh, uh -huh. 
us brings peace. We pause to pray. God, we wait in this season of Advent. We wait for your coming. We wait with those struggling with anxiety and overwhelming stress. We wait with families and individuals worried with the intensity of the holiday season. We wait with retreat centers and camps that provide time away. We wait for strength to resist being overwhelmed by materialism. We wait for a deepening of our spirituality. We wait for you. Come, O come, Emmanuel. Amen. Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting light. O Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. When this old world drew on toward night, you came but not in splendor bright, not as a monarch but the child of Mary, blessed Mother mine. At your great name, O oh Jesus, now all knees must bend, all hearts must bow. All things on earth with one accord, like those in heaven shall call you Lord. Come in your holy might, we pray, redeem us for eternal day. Defend us while we dwell below. From all assaults of our dreadful. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one. Praise, honor, might, and glory be from age to age eternally. May the blessing of the holy and undivided Trinity rest upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is coming soon. Emmanuel is with us. Thanks be to God.